Here we like to talk about the Beano, like a lot, too much frankly, but also oddly, not enough? Well, here I am again to talk about someone you probably don't know, but if you have ever looked at a Beano in the last 60 years, you have certainly seen his work. David Sutherland, born in 1933, which was ages ago, began working on the comic in 1958. You would be forgiven for not knowing his name, as the Beano had this frankly awful habit of not crediting its artists and writers. I believe they now do, but for almost 60 years, the main man behind the Bastry Kids was not given his dues. According to Mike Sterling, the Beano Studios creative director, David landed his job at the Beano after entering a competition run by the comic publisher DC Thompson. He actually came third in the competition and yet he's become our most beloved artist ever. And from my point of view, one of Scotland's greatest artists, not just in terms of comics, but completely. David worked on some of the most famous Beano strips, according to a BBC article that included more than 1,000 Dennis the Menace stories between 1970 and 1998. For 60 years, which again is bloody ages, he was the artist behind the Bash Street Kids, though he did not create them. That honour goes to Leo Baxendale, but they're most associated with David. It wasn't just the Beano that David did work for, he also contributed to the dandy working on Corky the Cat and the most beloved and fondly remembered dandy character of all time, Jack! Remember Jack? The... No? David's art style was incredibly distinctive, keeping the art style of the Bash Street Kids consistent for literal decades, maintaining their old British school looks even as the comics modernise and often not for the better. Oh Jack. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of his 80s and 90s work as I feel that was the pinnacle of his powers, but he did start to slip maybe a little in some aspects in recent years, but David's worst days are better than most comic people's best. Some of my favourite stuff by David are the big illustrations for posters and covers. With all the recent articles about him, it is nice to see his work highlighted and David finally get the credit he deserves. Speaking of getting credit, in December 2022, David was awarded the Order of the British Empire. The award is a British award of chivalry, rewarding contributions to the arts and sciences, work with charitable and welfare organisations and public services outside the civil service. And after 60 years of making kids laugh on a weekly basis, Big Dave certainly earned this honour. Whether you care for the award or not, it's nice to see that Big Dave is finally getting that recognition that it took him ages to get and that he deserved a long time ago. Upon receiving his award, Big Dave had this to say. When I entered the DC Thompson Art Competition more than 60 years ago, I couldn't have guessed where it might lead. I've been so lucky to be able to do something I love for a living and work with so many talented writers whose words have helped bring these characters to life. Working on the Bash Street Kids for so long, these mischievous kids have become a second family to me and I continue to love spending time in their company. He ends by noting he hoped the readers enjoyed reading them as much as he did drawing them. On January 19th, 2023, David Sutherland died. He had only put his pen down when he begun to feel ill a month prior, according to his wife Margaret. Drawing was his life, and made us forget the age he was. He was getting older, but we never noticed it. David's 60 year run of making kids laugh has finally come to an end. His last Bash Street strip is now in the books and while we will never see another new comic by David, we have 60 years of his stories to read and that will take us bloody ages.